this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. This is going to be fun. Let's go to Windows. General Editors Content Browser. Here under Animation you should find Motion Capture and under Motion Capture you find things like the cartwheel, dance, walk and we pick the walk number two. Our creature is very big. Let's press the key A and you see how big he is and he walks there. This is the grid we have. So I pick the walk reference now and I scale him down quite drastically, even further like this. So this is his walk. Uh, in this position here, he steps further to the side as if there was something hindering him to really walk straight forward. So in this case we just plant a little thing which gives us a, a visual reference of what that could be like this. Does this make sense? Yes, he wants to get to the side of this object. So this is just a little uh, thing you can play with. Now um, I want him to walk through cloth and for that purpose I create cloth and uh, the easiest cloth is uh, created from a polygon plane. The plane sits right here and with the actually I can scale it up just a little bit see it better and by pressing and holding J actually the rotate tool and now pressing and holding J you can snap it uh, to 90 degrees it's the same as if you would type in here in the attribute editor 90 degrees but that's just fine and we move it up uh, like this and we scale it maybe like this. This should be enough. And we want him to walk through that piece of cloth here. But it's not cloth yet. And uh, if you remember from other tutorials I did about cloth, you need a high resolution here. So first of all, let's give it a different color, new material. I give it um, an Arnold shader, a Lambert shader actually, in maybe red. Actually, I can use a ramp here. I need to see it by clicking here. This is the ramp already working. Here under Polygon Plane you need to raise the resolution from subdivisions 10 by 10 to at least 100 by 100. Let me try 150 by 150. So that's a very high rest now. And now we go to FX. I'm already here, FX. And here you have N-Cloth. So with the plane selected you go to N-Cloth and create N-Cloth. Nothing special really. So the end cloth is now behaving like cloth. It falls down due to gravity. And Maya, perf the performance is much slower because it has to evaluate the motion of the, the dynamic behavior of the cloth. Uh, here you have the nucleus and the nucleus is responsible for the gravity. Of course, we don't want it to fall down. That's why we fix it in the air. We go to the orthogonal window where we see it best, press the key F. And now with the right mouse button you select the components and uh, the vertices. Let's select the ones up here and uh, we want to constrain them. We want them to sit there and not fall down and hold the rest more or less in its dynamic uh, behavior so that it does not comple completely fall down. So in constraint and we have a transform constraint. You have lots of options for constraints. The one we need here is just because it doesn't involve other geometry or anything we just want it to keep there, to stay there. So this is the next step we did. 
our character approaches. We're still in the orthogonal window, so we see it directly from one side. And now he's getting close to the cloth. If you cache this, it goes much faster, of course. And now he walks through the cloth. That's certainly not what we want. The cloth has to feel him. That's the next step we're going to take. So um, first of all, what I can see is that uh, it's not high enough. So let's move it up like this. And um, with the cloth selected here, I additionally use the control key, select our walking man. Not the reference, not the joints but the, uh, the the surface, the which is the skin. It's called skin, actually. So first the cloth and then the skin. And then I go back to FX and end cloth and I create it's a, an important command. That's why it's all, all the way up at the top here. I create a passive collider. That means the cloth feels the character, but the character doesn't change anything uh, through the cloth dynamics. So the character behaves uh, normal. He keeps walking on. He doesn't melt. You see his knee is already touching the cloth and moving the cloth slightly in. It's this bump here. Very good. And of course, Maya has to think quite a bit. Now the cloth tears here because the tension is too hard, too high. We could change the dynamics of the cloth, of course. But basically, the job is done. For refinement, please check the properties of the cloth. and use the cache, which is up here, to let this run in real time. Bye-bye.